On trophy day at Celtic Park, the champions entertain Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Matthews looks up the line. Johansson gets a second bite at it, given away though, although he was fouled in the process by Polworth. Number of changes for John Hughes ahead of next weekend's Scottish Cup final. Johansson, Van Dijk's at the back post, it's going to be a tap in! Stefan Shepovic claims it. Beaton was there, but the consultation brings the result. Beaton admits that it was Shepovic's touch that turned the ball into the net. And inside five minutes, Celtic have the lead on their day of celebration. Johansson with the free kick, Van Dijk across, and it could have been either Cepovic or Beaton, neither could miss, but a flash of the yellow boot from the Serbian, and Celtic are on their way against Inverness. Brown, Warren deals with it, although Izagiri should keep that one in play ahead of Horner. Armstrong, Izagiri on the right foot, there's Van Dijk! Cleared off the line by Carl Tremarco. Perhaps it was Warren who just got the flick on and bailed out by the left back. Perhaps the ball was just going wide though. There's Forrest. Armstrong changes direction. Johansson, Shefovic. Well, he's looking lively. And this just his fourth league start for the club. His first since the 5th of January at Kilmarnock when he also scored that evening. Virgil van Dijk beat on, and that was a little loose, but winning the ball back, and then a heavy challenge by the Israeli. And Tomo Kink looks in a bit of pain here. Not the smartest challenge for the final day of the season from near Beaton. Scott Brown, the Celtic captain, he will be lifting the trophy later on. And his ball has found Izagiri, who finds Johansson. It's a beautifully worked second from Celtic. And Scotland's player of the year, Stefan Johansson, scores their second. Izagiri did so well down the left-hand side. He looked possibly third favourite to get that ball. But he got away from Christie and Warren and pulled the ball back for Stefan Johansson, who takes his tally for the season to 13 goals. And when Celtic play that quick one-passing stuff, they really are irresistible. Beaton has a race, beats Christie. And a nice bit of skill too. Here's Izagiri, drilled across. Just look at this from Beaton. Effortlessly done. Armstrong to take the corner kick. Well, Van Dijk was up there. Comes to the back for a beat on. Van Dijk! Oh, surely a handball. Well, corner kick, says Kevin Clancy. And it's Hamden Park in the semi-final all over again. Although in slightly less pressurised circumstances, Danny Williams certainly used an arm there but it's not been spotted by Kevin Clancy and his officials. Tremarco, back to Williams. Tremarco again, away by Denier, only as far as Vincent. Well, really, their first sighting of goal. No danger for Craig Gordon, who will be named the Scottish Football Writers Player of the Year later this evening. Denier, will he be back next season? He's been superb on loan from Manchester City. 
And here's James Forrest, Armstrong. Well, very similar to the goal that was tucked away by Stefan Johansson on 18 minutes. And Armstrong will feel, will know that he should have done better here. Polworth, good battling. And he'll be looking to play himself into some sort of a role in next Saturday's Scottish Cup final against Falkirk. Given away by Tremarco. It's Shepovic to Johansson. Forrest, Shepovic! 3-0 Celtic, a double for Stefan Shepovic, who has doubled his league tally for the season. He scored his third and his fourth in the Scottish Premiership this afternoon. Celtic are 3-0 up. And Stefan Shepovic is beginning possibly to make his mark in a Celtic jersey. It's been an up and down season for the Serbian, but he's been amongst the goals this afternoon. Doran couldn't get that. Commons turns away from his man. Now open up to Lee Griffiths. Well, he's not been on the park long. Just too high. There will be a double for Dyla. The League Cup followed by the Scottish Premiership. Not bad for a debut season. Gary Warren read the pass. Vincent, that's poor. Commons, it's Lee Griffiths. Drilled hard and low and past Cameron Mackay. And Lee Griffiths gets in on the act. And what a 2015 he is having. That's his 20th goal of the season. But 16 of those have been since the turn of the year. And it's that form that has made him the first choice striker at Celtic Park in the second half of this season. It's earned him a recall to Gordon Strachan's Scotland squad. And Lee Griffiths hammers home number four. Celtic are romping their way to victory on the final day of the season. Mulgrew. To Forrest, quick feet, gets it to Izagiri. Left for Cummins! And the final act of the season for the champions is for Chris Cummins to batter home number five. The second string in Burness, they have been demolished here. They will have their eyes on events in a week's time but Celtic running out convincing winners.